When we see the word scheduling in the data world, we typically think about running in batches, but sometimes you don't want to have to wait to see some sort of update. And this is where the idea of using triggers and creating more dynamic workflows becomes really helpful for a data team. So in this video, you're going to learn how to create event driven workflows with Prefect and Prefect Cloud so that you can have your workflows dynamically running as soon as an event happens rather than waiting for the next batch. Now, before we get started for context, this demo is based on a blog post that exists that you can check out today called Beyond Scheduling. And in it, it talks about the idea of time and how sometimes you don't want to have to wait until the next batch for something to happen. For example, if you say something runs every hour, it's really a guess that within the hour, there's data worth moving or that it's a good amount of time to wait. Whereas more modern data practitioners want to take action as soon as it's produced. And the idea here is that by using event driven architectures as opposed to batch, you can stop guessing and just know immediately immediately when something happens that something else will be triggered. And the last thing to mention here, of course, is that running pipelines do cost money and you may not want to run every time an event triggers, but it is an option for you. And you're going to see how Prefect makes it really easy to do. What you're going to see in this video is how you can push data from a stream. For example, we'll use Kafka here and how to set up an event webhook in Prefect to listen for that message coming through and then trigger a deployment automatically as soon as it all happens. And the context for this demo is an onboarding sequence for new users. So imagine there's a web form that new users fill out. As soon as that happens, we want this flow to run. And in this flow, it's going to have a few tasks. It's going to send them a welcome email, check that the email doesn't bounce and then update a marketing tracker. And the goal here is to automate this entire onboarding sequence in real time as soon as a new event is captured. With that said, let's now hop into Prefect Cloud and start to create our event webhook that will be listening for these messages. Here I am in my Prefect Cloud workspace. And what we're going to do is move down to event webhooks. And this is where we're going to be able to create our webhook that will be listening again for the events coming through the data stream. So let's click add webhook here and walk through this simple wizard to get it set up. First, let's give this event webhook a name. We'll call this new user stream. And this is all going to mimic the blog post that you could follow along as well if that's something you want to do. Now we need to give it a description. Down here, there's a handful of different templates you can use. And a lot of this is going to be based on your event coming in and what it's going to look like when you send the messages over. You have a few options here. You could just have a static webhook, which is just listening for something to happen and not really doing a whole lot with the data itself. It's more just recognizing that an event was triggered. You could make it more dynamic, which allows you to capture some of the data coming through and then setting other values, whether you hard code it or you make it dynamic through the inputs itself. Again, from the message, you can capture some of that data and then you can use a cloud event, which is another option for you as well all of which you can learn more at the docs. To learn more about what these different event templates are about, the different settings and recommendations for working with this. So what we're gonna do is build off of this dynamic one. And what I have is something that I'm just gonna copy and paste in here. And what this is going to do is read data that's coming through the event so that it can populate some of these fields. And what you'll see later is eventually we're gonna grab some data from this payload here, this body that's getting converted to JSON and actually pass it in as a parameter to our flow later on when we trigger it. So this is just a custom template that's based on the blog here. We're going to match what we're doing here in this example. Let's go ahead and create this. So now you can see we have this stream here and it gives you a URL that you can use. And this is the URL that you want to send your events to. It all integrates together and you can make these truly dynamic workflows run for you. So in this example, as I mentioned, we're using Kafka and I'm using Confluent Cloud to host all this for me. Now setting this up is outside the scope of this video. And there's a wide variety of methods that you could use to actually stream your data. But for context here, I've created an HTTP sync connector that's connected to this stream. And really the most important thing here is if I go to settings, you can see that I pasted the URL for our event webhook from Prefect Cloud so that any event that gets pushed through this, it's going to actually go to this URL, which is then connected to Prefect Cloud. And we should see it here as well. So now when I navigate over to topics, I have a web signups one here that I can use to send through some messages. How you send through this message is going to depend on your application or your situation. But what I'm going to do is copy and paste the example right here. So I'm going to produce this message, which should create the event and be connected to prefect over here. So what we can do is let's click up here, explore events. And here we can see our webhook was created and it captured our event just recently. So it's 1020. It's just a little bit ago. Customer user five was created. And if we click this here, we can go into the details. We can see the raw data and we can see here's the information that we passed through and our template that we created, parsed this out and understood everything we were working with. And just to show you this again, what I'll do is produce it again. And let's 
see over here, if we refresh, we can see customer user five was created. Let's change something in here. Instead of user five, let me do user eight and we'll say region two produce. And if I refresh look at the last hour here, we have user eight and we can see all this information in here. So we can confirm that now Prefect Cloud is capturing these events and now it's up to us to decide what we want to do with it. So let's now put this all together and what we'll do is we'll create an automation so that as soon as this event comes through and Prefect Cloud recognizes it, it will automatically run one of our deployed workflows. So sticking with the trend here, we're going to copy this flow logic here and create something that can run based on the trigger. So as soon as event comes in, we want to run this flow. So I have this built in my local environment here and I've already set up my YAML file to look for it when we deploy it. If you're curious about how to do that, there's other videos on how to create your deployments and go through that process. So we won't cover that here. But what we're gonna do is run the command prefect deploy. And when this comes up, it's gonna see our options. In our case, I created that new user flow. Again, if this is new to you, I encourage you to go watch one of the other videos on interactive deployments. We'll select this one. Do we wanna schedule this flow run? I'm gonna say no, because we're going to have this triggered automatically. But if you also wanted to have it scheduled, you could always do that as well. Now I have a local process set up, which again is something you would need to set up separately, but I'm gonna have this running locally on my machine here. Let me just open up a new terminal and get it started. And the reason we wanna do this is so that as soon as we trigger this workflow, it can run. My local machine will be the infrastructure that our flow runs on. So now we have a few things happening at the same time. So if we go back now to Prefect Cloud and we go to deployments, we can see we have our new deployment here, that new user flow that we just created. So how do we put this together? Once that event comes through to this webhook, we want to automatically run this flow that we have deployed. There's a few ways that you could do this. You could create this directly through the automations tab, but another easy way to do this is to just go to the event itself. So I'm gonna to go to the event feed. This is one of the more recent events that came through from our Kafka feed. And if we go up here to this button, there's an option for automate. This is going to allow us to create an automation on this type of resource. When it comes to resource ID, we'll just keep this as the default. We'll leave that the same. And really the only thing we're gonna focus on for now is this expect area right here. And right now it's expecting, meaning it's only going to automate where the customer.user.created is exactly this. But what we want is for anything that's customer. So customer.star. And the reason we wanna do that is if we go to our example here, just if we remember what the template was, this event is customer dot, and then it's inserting some dynamic information dot created. This is going to change, but we're hard coding this other part. So what we're saying here is anytime the event looks like customer dot anything, then trigger this. So that's gonna cover anything coming through this webhook and this stream, but you would change that as needed for other automations in the future. So let's keep it as this. Go to next action type. What do we want to do when this trigger occurs? There's a handful of things you could do. For us, we want to run a deployment. Which one do we want to do? And now we can see it's giving us this option for name. And what this is allowing us to do is pass values into this deployment that we're going to run and the flow that's part of it. And if we go back to the code itself, we can see there is a name value here. And by default, it's to will, but what we're going to do is override that with what we pass through into it which will go into these other areas here. And again, keep it all dynamic for us going forward for all the different options. So I'm gonna paste in some Jinja here, which again is gonna keep this dynamic. That's really the value here is that we're making things really dynamic and useful in a variety of different ways. And we're again, taking from the payload, which is that event message, extracting the user ID, and it's going to just drop that in here for the name value. Okay, next. Now we can give this automation a name. We'll call this send new user email because that's what we're doing here. As soon as a new user comes in, we're triggering this email flow. Save, and now it's here, it's ready to go. We now have this automation that's gonna be triggered by an event feed, and the event feed is listening for events from our hosted Kafka stream. Now with everything in place, let's now put it all together and see if we can trigger this flow when a new message comes through. So I've gone to my dashboard here because we should be able to see everything populate here as soon as we send this through. So let's see if we can do this in real time. We have our message here. I'm going to produce it. It should be picked up by the event webhook. Let me refresh and here we go. So now we can see event was triggered. It's running the new user flow. Here you can see it's running on my local environment right here and it's doing all these checks. Everything's happening. Let's refresh again up here and it completed. So it ran this specific flow. We can see it send the welcome email, check for bounce. And if we look a little bit deeper into some of the information, so parameters name user eight, which came from our event, that was the user value that we put in. We can see the different tasks, send the welcome email, send onboarding campaign to user eight. And now all of this triggered together immediately after an event was fired in near real time and you can monitor all of it from your dashboard right here on Prefect Cloud. Hopefully this opened your eyes to the possibilities of event-driven workflows in Prefect Cloud 
and all the different ways you could use it to create more dynamic workflows. Thanks for watching and let us know if you have any questions on how to use this in your own environment.